Hello Sagittarius, welcome to your monthly love reading for November 2018. This is a general reading, so for further messages please check your Venus, Moon and Rising sign videos. Don't forget to cross-watch your love interest reading as well and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And if you would like a private reading with me, all the information you need will be in the description link. So let's get into your reading. So the main issue at the moment is... Heart to heart conversation. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. So I do feel as though there have been some um, conversations to maybe try to work things out, to maybe try to resolve things. So the Eight of Ariel, which is the Eight of Pentacles, is all about putting in work. So I don't know if you're making an effort to try to speak to somebody or if you're wanting to communicate with this person to maybe try and work things out. It could be that maybe this person is trying to talk to you to try to work things out, but here there's a bit of resistance and a bit of stubbornness here with the four of pentacles. So I, so what I feel is one of you are trying to speak to the other one and there's just a bit of resistance or a little bit of stubbornness here, okay? So how you feel about the situation? So we've got calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirm, your prayers affirmations and visualizations help bring you together. We've got the Eight of Raphael and we've got Judgment. So some of you do feel a soulmate connection with this person, okay? And I feel some of you may have made a decision to walk away from this person for whatever reason. The Eight of Raphael um, typically speaks about us walking away from something, leaving something behind in the past. And we've got Judgment. So this is like a second chance um, it's also making a final judgment, a final decision on something. So this person may have come back and now it's like you've made a final decision to just, you know, walk away from them, even though you do feel a soulmate connection. And I also feel, feel there's a separation as well, because calling in your soulmate, it means that you want to be closer to, closer to this person because it um, represents a bit of a separation also. Okay, and yeah, I just feel as though you're leaving this person in the past or you're walking away from them. So here, how they feel, so deception. Someone is wearing a false self-mask in this relationship. So either they're feeling as though there's been some deception or they have been deceptive. Now, it could be the worst case scenario, although it doesn't have to be. It could just literally mean that someone is not really revealing um, their true feelings. So they might feel as though you're not really revealing how you feel or again, you know, they could be the ones that are not being honest. So there is a bit of deception here that they're feeling, okay, whether it's them or you, um, take what resonates. So they're not feeling happy. They feel as though they've missed an opportunity with you as well, okay. And it could be because of lies. It could be down to someone just not being honest or not being their authentic self. And they really are overthinking it. They're really um, analysing the situation there. Yeah, so it's like they really are thinking about you a lot. And they are thinking that they've missed out on an opportunity. So this says, seek out other possibilities. Look for the magic in life. Be aware of your own emotions. So this is the Four of Raphael or the Four of Cups. So, you know, they are feeling discontent. They're not feeling happy. And again, they do feel as though... They've missed an opportunity and it's really, really bugging them. They are really thinking about it. So what you want from the situation. So here we have the Queen of Pentacles. So with the Queen of Pentacles, it's like you want to get back to stability. And I do feel as though there is a part of you that actually does want to leave this person in the past because there's not much romance. Things haven't been that playful. So if things haven't been that playful, then it could mean that maybe this person just, you know, takes things too seriously or they're just kind of very uptight. And there's a need here to recapture romance. There's a need here, you know, to be more fun, to be more more um, playful so maybe this just isn't fun for you anymore Sagittarius and you know what I love about Sagittarians is that you guys are such a fun loving sign so romance fun playfulness it's very very important to you so we yeah so again we have the queen of pentacles so this is representing you getting back to stability or wanting to be more stable okay and you might feel as though the only way that you can do this is by you know, leaving this situation is to light at the end of the tunnel, breathe or sigh 
breathe a sigh of relief and make new plans, relocation or travel. So some of you are just getting out. You, you know, you just want to get away from the situation to find your stability. So what your love interests want. So they want a commitment, engagement. Your love life is ascending to a high level of commitment. So this person does want some kind of commitment. Um, but again, they're holding back. They are keeping secrets, okay? And I feel like here as well with the Page of Michael, which is the Page of Swords, they might be a little bit immature in terms of how they communicate and they might be, you know, stalking your social media to find out what it is that you're up to. And we've got engagement here as well. So maybe they're kind of stalking your social media, you know, to see if you're in a relationship with anyone else. Um, but... With the high priestess here, they are keeping secrets, okay? And I feel like there are certain things that they want to keep to themselves. So I don't trust this person, if I'm honest, Sagittarius. Um, you know, I do have to be honest about what I'm seeing. So they've got deception, they've got the high priestess. This person is keeping secrets that they don't want you to find out. And that's what I'm seeing here. So the obstacles are release your ex the time has come to clear your energy so there could be an ex on the scene whether this person is there physically or whether um you know this person still has feelings for them whether you still have feelings for an ex this might indicate that there is an ex on the scene okay and you know this could even mean that you need to release this person the time has come to clear your energy and we have the will. So you feel like things just aren't going in the right direction for you. And you're not willing to no longer invest in this situation. You're not willing to be patient anymore. So the seven of pentacles, you know, it's a card of, you know, um, making investments and waiting to reap the rewards of our work. And with this as an obstacle, it's like you've put in time, you put in effort, you've you know, done this, you've done that, but you're not getting the rewards for it. So, and things just aren't going in the right direction for you at the moment. So, the crowning energy is religious factors. So, you and this person might have some moral differences. You might be from different backgrounds. Um, you know, it just means that in terms of personal beliefs, morals, that type of thing, there are some differences, okay? And this is causing, um, it's not really, really anything serious, but it is just a slight factor. So again, it could be like cultural backgrounds, it could be religious differences, that type of thing, or whether you two just don't agree on certain things. And we have the page of Ariel. So an excellent opportunity will be offered to you. Scholarships or the pursuit of education. Time to get to work. And we have the Queen of Swords. So I do feel as though this person is going to reach out. Okay, we've got the page of Ariel. So pages typically bring messages. So there is going to be some kind of opportunity that this person offers you. And we've got the Queen of Swords here. So some of you dealing with an air sign, some of you dealing with an earth sign. Doesn't have to be, but I feel like you're seeing this opportunity and you're going to take a really logical point of view on it. So you're going to step out of your emotions and you're going to really think about it logically. Okay, does this make sense? That type of thing, you know. So you're not going to let this person con um, you're not going to let this person control you emotionally or use your emotions. You're going to step out of your emotions and you're going to really think about things clearly and you're going to cut out the unnecessary. And this is what I like about the Queen of Swords, you know, and as I say with this card, if something doesn't serve her or if something doesn't um, sit well with her, she brings that sword down and she cuts out the unnecessary. So you might choose to do that, okay? So now in your outcome, you have the Knight of Ariel. So again, this speaks about somebody coming back in. Okay, so there is so much to accomplish, make a very detailed plan, being watched over by somebody kind. So I do feel as though someone is going to come in, okay, but there's still a bit of imbalance. So it's like, maybe you don't feel for this person as much as what you're used to. And I feel like it's kind of clear, clear here. So you may one time, um, 
you know, I've had very strong feelings for this person, but now it's like you're just not sure how you feel about this person, you know, because with the Queen of Swords here, it's like you've stepped out of your emotions and there's this imbalance. So this person, it's like they're in your life, then they're out of your life. So, but, you know, you've got the Wheel of Fortune. So whatever this obstacle here is, um, it's no longer going to be a obstacle, okay, because you've got the Wheel of Fortune here. So things are going to start going in the right direction for you when it comes to love in November. So there is a change in direction, okay, and just work on the imbalance, but I feel like you very much got it under control, okay, and if this person does come back, if they do try to manipulate you, um, I don't know if you guys can hear the wind in the background, it's really, really windy where I am, so if you can hear like background noise that's what it is um yeah so you know if you guys are kind of feeling stuck in your feelings and i'm all about emotions because our emotions kind of guide us but sometimes if you have someone who uses emotions against you to get what they want from you or to manipulate you then you need to take on the queen of swords energy and cut it out okay so I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Things are definitely going to turn around in November for you. So things are going in the right direction. So I hope you guys enjoyed this reading and I will see you all soon.